welcome to Ringside for Riot, where we will talk about wrestling and a lot of it. This week on Raw, the authority crapped all over Denver. Yuck. But at least they were selling gorgeous on Raw, and that somebody was Tyler Breeze. He debuted on SmackDown, which I think is kind of weird because a lot of people that watch Raw don't exactly watch SmackDown. I know a lot of us do, but I think it would have made more sense to either debut on Raw or pay-per-view. But he seems to have a feud with Dolph Ziggler, and hey, pretty boy versus pretty boy. Nothing wrong with that. But what's up with that VIP area? Oh. My. God. Yeah. Oh. And you're gonna need this. Oh. My. God. I can't believe this. Tyler Breeze wants me. He wants me to stand in for Summer Rae. This is... This is crazy. I don't know if I can do this. I really don't know. But I gotta pull it together. You could do this, Noel. You could do this. Oh my God. Ziggler's laying there for free photos. I gotta take pictures. Tyler's gonna be so proud of me. Oh yeah, work it, work it. I can totally get used to this. Almost up. What's up with Bray Wyatt stealing everyone's powers? I mean, he's taking the, the thunder lightning bolts from Undertaker and the ring post going flames from Kane. What's next? Is he going to steal Superman's powers and he's going to start flying? Or Spider-Man's? <laughs> I wonder where Bray Wyatt is going with this. Nick seems to think it could lead up to a possible undertaker Kane reunion at WrestleMania. Damn right I do. Or maybe even Survivor Series. When I say ooh, you say our back. Ooh! Our back. Ooh! Our back. That's right, the Usos are back. And I'm excited they're back because I've I've missed them. I miss screaming, ooh, sauce, ooh, sauce. Zeb Coulter, or as I like to call him, old Zebby Webby, has extended his services across the border to Mexico. Now he's representing Alberto Del Rio, who just beat John Cena at Hell in a Cell for the US title. So I guess them together equals Mex-American. Who came up with that though? I, what are we gonna do with... I don't know, nothing's coming to my mind, I don't know. Guys, I'm sorry I'm late. Oh, okay. Hey, what's up, what's up? up? But I think I got this. Let's see. Watch me. Okay. Next America. Wow, that's a great idea. <laughs> hey. What? Uh This week's Raw and SmackDown is brought to you by Rollade. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Ah. And also by Tomcat Mouse Killer. Chase away those ring rats. In other news, Sheamus and Wade Barrett have teamed together, and I don't really know why, but what would their tag team name be? Hmm. I've got an idea. Let's have a contest! That's a great idea, now Oh. Comment your tag team names below with the hashtag tag team mashup. Some good names that I thought of were the UK Brawlers or the Proper Drunks. That was my idea. Zip no! it, okay? Oopsies, sorry. Anyways, we'll announce the winner on the next episode of Ringside Riot, and here's what you could win. WWE Bad News Barrett Series 46 and Sheamus Create a Superstar Figure. And now it's time for some Ringside Rewind, where we take a look at wrestling in the rear view mirror. Survivor Series is around the corner, and a lot of major events have taken place there, including the Montreal Screwjob in 1997, and then in 1998, my dad got screwed. And then in 1999, Rikishi ran over Stone Cold with his car, which remained a mystery for months. And then The Undertaker debuted in 1990. Then in 1991, Undertaker beat Hulk Hogan for the title. And in more recent news, Sting debuted at Survivor Series in 2014, and it was monumental. Hmm. 
interesting. There it is, unicorn. The unicorn is a legendary animal that has a large pointed spiraling horn projecting from its forehead. Verb, unicorning. Originated by WWE two-time tag team champions, The New Day, by first placing your finger on your forehead like a horn, then wanting something so badly you will will it into existence. Huh, I'm gonna try this. <laughs> It worked! It really, really worked! Wow! It's time for Mailbag! Welcome to Recite Mailbag, where you've got questions and I've got all the answers. Right here, and right here, and right over there. Let's move right into this. This is from The Big Best. What will there be for the next contest for figures? Well, obviously there is a contest during this episode, which will end next episode. And um, after that, uh, probably around Thanksgiving, we're gonna have something really cool running from around that time to near Christmas. So keep your eyes peeled. Next question is from Caleb Jackson. I know we just got to see Elite 40 and also that they're up for pre-order. But any idea on Elite 41, please answer. Uh, the pre-order's up now or for the items at Christmas. The next pre-order will probably go up, I'd say, around mid-December. So hang on to your gobbly gookers. <sighs> Moving along, we have a question here from Frodo Baggins. What's your favorite battle pack ever? Oof. Um, so many, I can't even... I'd say probably right now, just because I'm a big mark for Degeneration X, I'm gonna say battle pack 32 with the New Age Outlaws, Billy Gunn, and Road Dog. But I will say I am very excited for Battle Pack Series 38, which is, they have Adam Rose and the Bunny, which mostly, honestly, I'm excited for the Bunny, just like everybody else. And last question. When will we get new figures of superstars like Braun Strowman, Dudley Boys, and Alberto Del Rio? Um, now, remember, Mattel takes about six to eight months really to get a figure from start to finish, so you kind of have to do that math from the time they appear on screen, or, you know, Alberto Del Rio just came back, so you figure another six months or so, you're probably going to start seeing a new Alberto Del Rio a little bit earlier. I think we'll see a bronze, bronze I like calling him Bronze Snowman, so we're going to do that. Bronze Snowman, and uh, that's pretty much it, so keep that in mind. Thank you guys for your questions. Hope you enjoyed your answers, and I'll see you on the next mailbag, or the next segment, or whenever. Thank you guys for watching Ringside for Riot. I will see you next week. Bye now. <sighs> oh, thank God it's that easy. That's a great idea. Shut <laughs> up! What? Uh, you guys double messed up the high five. Did you? Well, oh, no, did, I meant like you this. You meant like this, right? <laughs> and you're like double high five is pretty easy. <laughs> WWE Bad News Barrett Series 46 and Seamus Create a Superstar Figure.